Hi, so we're going to start chapter three, which is simplifying expressions. So an expression is a statement that does not have an equal sign in it. So if we have three plus five, that's an expression. And if we add an equal sign to it, then it's called an equation. So equations have equal signs, but with no equal signs, we call these expressions. Now, when we are given an expression, we can simplify it. So three plus five can be boiled down. So simplifying is like boiling down to just the essence of what it is. And so this simplifies to eight. Okay, so if we have numbers, then we can do operations to them like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division to get to one simplified number. That is fine when we're dealing with just numbers, but if we're dealing with variables like an x, then we're going to have to deal with both numbers and variables. So if I had, say, 4x, that's saying that it's 4 times x. So we're not going to put a multiplication sign here because it's implied that these two entities are going to be multiplied together. Um, but for right now, I'll put that in so you know for sure that these really are being multiplied. So let's go over some terminology x or any other letter that we're using is called a variable. The reason why it, it's called a variable is because it could vary as to what it is and we don't know what it is. In fact, it could be anything. We don't have enough information actually to figure out what the value of x is. If I were to create an equation like equals 8, then we could figure out what x is. In this case, x would be 2. But if I said that this equals 16, then x would be 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. Since whatever x is could vary if I don't equate it to something, we need to make sure that it could represent anything, which is why when we have an unknown that we don't know what it's going to be, we call it a variable. Whatever is being multiplied, if there's a number that is being multiplied against the variable, it is usually traditionally put right out front and there is no multiplication sign because we just assume that they're going to be multiplied. So from now on, you're not going to see a little dot there. It's just going to be nothing. So 4x is 4 times x. The number that's out front is called a co efficient. Okay? So co meanings like companion. So you could think of coefficients as companions to the variable. All right? So now we have coefficients and we have variables. If we were to add something, let's say 3x. So if I have 4x's and I'm adding 3x's, I'm going to end up with 7x's. So this would be 7x. This is an expression that simplifies to 7x. Okay? So if we were to say simplify, your answer would be 7x. We're not figuring out what x is. Again, x could be anything because we're not having any equations here. We're just having expressions. So we're going to simplify this expression. Let's do another one. Let's say that we had 2x minus x plus 5x. If you want, and you do not have to, but if it makes it easier for you to understand this, whenever you're given a variable with no coefficient, remember 2 and 5 are coefficients here. If you have an x with no coefficient, if you want to, you could put a little 1 there. It's not necessary, but it may help you. So now we have two x's, we're subtracting one x, and then we're adding five x's. So let's move from left to right. We're going to use PEMDAS just like we've always done. It's just that we're using variables now. 
So 2x's minus 1x will give you 1x. Let's bring this down to 5x again. And if you have 1x and you add 5x's, you have 6x. So 6x is the simplified or boiled down version of this original expression. Let's do another one. What if we have 2x plus 3 plus 4x plus 8? So here we have these terms that include x's. So here we have these x's. So we can combine these. If it helps you, you don't have to do this, because of the commutative property of addition, the commutative property, meaning a property where you can move things around, if you wanna move these around to be close next to each other, that's fine. You don't have to, but if you want to, because it makes it look easier on how to combine these, go for it. So if you have two x's and four x's, you can have six x's. And then if you have a three and an eight, that gets you 11. So this simplifies down to 6x plus 11. It cannot be simplified anymore. Because of PEMDAS, you need to do multiplication before you do any addition. So that means that 6 needs to be multiplied by x before you can add this product to 11. Since we do not know what x is, we can't multiply x times 6 any more than we are right now. If I said x equals 2, Okay, then we would say 2 times 6 is 12, and then we could add 12 to 11 and get 23. But we do not know what x is. This is not an equation. Therefore, this is as far as we can go. We cannot combine 11 and 6x, because 11 would be being added to 6x, and we need to do multiplying 6x, 6 times x first. So this is as far as we can go. It looks a little funny that as far as you can go is not as squished together as you would like, but this really is as far as we can go. These are called unlike terms. They're not like terms. If they were like terms, then they would either be just numbers or they would have variables that are the same kind of variable. Okay, so here, 2x and 4x both have x's in common, and so these are called like terms. Like terms. As opposed to 11 and 6x, which are unlike terms. Okay? So you cannot combine any more closely together unlike terms, whereas if you have like terms, you can indeed add or subtract them. Okay, so that is the beginning part of what I would like to uh, talk about. Just one more vocabulary word. If we have 3x plus 8, x is called the variable, 3 is called the coefficient, and I'll just abbreviate it, and 8 doesn't have any variable attached to it. So we call that a constant. So any numbers that are without variables, we'll just call constants because they don't change, as opposed to a variable that could change to be a lot of things. So a constant is a permanent thing. And you can add constants together. Constants are like terms. So if it was 8 plus 7, you could make that 15. But again, you cannot combine 15, which is a constant, to the coefficient variable couple because of what you would need to go through is PEMDAS. So that's an introduction, and um, we'll try a couple questions out.